So reinvention for me has meant a lot of things in my career. Um, there's been a lot of uh, moments and journeys that I've had to take that were not always kind of pre-planned or kind of foreseen even. And the first one that comes to mind for me is moving from kind of running an investment business to eventually running an operational business and then back to running an investment business. So for those that know, I started my career earlier on as an investment banker at Investec. And in that environment, you're doing M&A transactions, you're doing disposals, you're advising clients, you're doing valuations. And then my first real job was actually running an operational business, um, which was a courier company, a company that I bought into out in Kempton Park with another partner of mine, Solly. And I ran the business for just over two years, and that was a very operational business. Vehicles are involved, logistics. Uh, wake up in the morning, late nights, things go wrong all the time, so client deliveries. Uh, you're always selling, et cetera, but you know, you're paying salaries every week. Um, you're doing all sorts of things that operational people do. And then straight after getting out of that business and joining MSG Africa, there I was now running an investment business uh, where we're raising capital from funders, we're deploying it into businesses that we invest in. And your job is to provide kind of strategic guidance and support to MDs and CEOs of these businesses. You're not running it kind of from day to day. The thing that you're running day to day is an investment business, which is very different. You're managing a balance sheet, you're negotiating funding terms, you're forever reading legal agreements. Um, you know, when the markets change, you kind of have to look at your facilities again. You're supporting those businesses. So you're kind of close, but you're a little bit far. And then, you know, back in about 2006, 2007, when we won our first uh, radio license at Capricorn FM, uh, we now were back to getting closer to a business where Simpiwe, one of my partners, had to move to Bulukwana to go and start the radio station and run it. And although Given and I here in Joburg were still somewhat of investors, we actually had our first business that had to be run day to day. And that, that was different because when Power FM followed, it was very similar. And in fact, although I started still as kind of Chief Investment Officer of MSG Africa at the time, I eventually had to take over as a Managing Director of Power FM. And again, back to running a business kind of day to day. Why? Because the circumstances just did. It got to a point where one of us had to run the day, the, the business rather, from a day to day perspective. So all of this kind of changes in my life, as I say, you know, not all of it was pre-planned, um, but you had to move from being very far from the businesses to kind of waking up every day and literally like a shopkeeper opening the shop and letting the business operate and late at night kind of closing and shutting down the shop. And that constant shift between those two uh, kind of behaviors and, and kind of the way I did business was a big kind of lesson for me about just how when things change as a business person, as an entrepreneur, you need to be prepared for that reinvention. So my second reinvention story is a bit of a funny one. So here we are, we've got Power FM going and uh, it's a normal day, you know, back in the office, I'm already MD of the radio station, so I'm very close to the operation now. And um, it's getting close to the afternoon and it's time for all the afternoon programming. And with the drive show, of course, at the time we had the business show that started at five o'clock. And our business show host at the time calls in around 3.30, something to four and says, listen, I'm very ill and I'm not gonna be able to make it onto the show. And to cut a long story short, as with all programming issues, I go to Given, I say, Mkari, our, pro, our presenter can't come. And he says, you know, dog, as he would do. And he lights up his cigarette and we go to the balcony. He says, you know, I've been meaning to talk to you about this thing and he keeps puffing away. I'm like, talk to me about what? We need to find a, a stand-in presenter. And he says, you know, I really think you should do the show. I'm like, what? He says, I've been meaning to talk to you about this thing. We now have an opportunity with the presenter not being able to just go stand in and see how you feel afterwards. I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna do this. What do you mean? What do I know about presenting radio? I mean, I love the medium, I love the media, but no, I've never been behind the microphone before. This thing's for experts, I can't. And he, he pretty much convinced me to do it. And I guess I had a bit of confidence in being able to do it because one, I'm not shy of public speaking, but two, I love the content because I love business, right? So. I read the news every day. I was interested in listed businesses. I was interested in what was happening in the economy and in the market. So uh, there wasn't much in the show in terms of the content that I didn't know I didn't love. So I figured, you know, I could probably wing it. So I kind of winged it on the day and probably the next day. And three years later, I was still presenting Power Business. So my third moment of reinvention in my career is something that happened recently. So in my world recently is a few years ago, right? So in 2007, near the end of the year, um, I was just thinking about kind of like my next chapter in life and I was approaching 40 years old, I was still 39 at the time, kind of holding on to my 30s, you know. And I was just at the stage of my life where I thought, what I want to do, what is it that I wanted to do next? And that kind of conversation with self led to the next reinvention. Um, so now I had to reinvent from this guy who's able to kind of garner partnerships and, and look after things with other people around at the main thing 
to, to setting up essentially a, a family investment office with investments at an underlying level as an operations, but with management teams that run those businesses on a day to day. And all I am there for is to support them. So it's kind of like merging that history of running investments and the little story I, tell you, I told you earlier on about being in the investments and operating them. So now that I've run businesses kind of every day like the shopkeeper and I've managed investments, I thought I'm ready for this stage of my life where um, I'm sitting at the top with all the autonomy. So I found kind of merging those two worlds and mer merging those two experiences of my career really fulfilling. And that's the chapter and journey that I'm in right now. So in all these three phases of reinvention, what have I learned? I've learned that change is the only constant.